hate when hair doesn't want to go the way I want it to go or look the way I want it to look. Hi guys and welcome Okay, the first thing I have in here is this simple cleansing wipes that I got from my got gloss box, I think, for two, three months ago. And I did enjoy them, but I don't think I'm going to get them again because they weren't my favorite. Right now I'm trying out other cleansing products that I love and are obsessed with. So these are, they're not bad, but I was expecting more. I can say that. Okay, the next product here that I talked about before on my channel is this Vatican Naturals White Cactus Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. Now, this smells very nice. It's empty and I did enjoy it. I still prefer, prefer the one with garlic. Uh, I think that one did more with, for my hair. This one wasn't bad. I really, really like it. And definitely something that I would buy again. This is very good for wig and breaking hair. I love this one. I think it worked nice. I just prefer the one bigger package with that garlic one. I think I like that more. But this wasn't bad and I would definitely purchase it again. The one thing that YouTube made me buy and I tried is this Garnier Skin Active Mineral Cleansing Water. This is good for normal and sensitive skin. And I used everything. Did I like it? Yes, I have another bottle. Uh, would I buy it again? I bought two of the same and I have one that I didn't even touch. And I am going to use that one, but would I buy it again? Probably not because uh, YouTube made me buy another one and I'm going to talk about it on uh, another video, some other time, uh, that I love more. So would I buy this one again? No, I would not. I will use the other bottle too, but I just prefer the new one that I'm trying out right now more than this one. So, But this wasn't too bad. I know uh, many people like this one. This is a favorite for many YouTubers uh, and it's a very good one. Don't get me wrong, it's a good cleansing water. It's just something that um, I found something else working better for my skin. I feel like I'm out of focus all the time. I complained in my uh, video, the last glossy box unboxing video, that I got many shower gels and shower creams and shower butter, butter washes, wash products in my glossy box. And <laughs> the one that I got for a couple of months ago is this Palmolive, uh, Strawberry Touch Body Butter Wash. This smells very nice. And it was a nice body butter wash. But would I buy, the, buy, buy it again? Probably not. Just didn't keep my skin very soft. I like when I, my skin after shower or bath feels very soft. Very nice, smells very good. This smells wonderful in the shower. But as soon as you get dry, it doesn't smell good. I don't like it on my body then. It doesn't smell that sweet, nice, no, just smells weird. So would I buy it? No. The one thing that I always go back to that I buy and like is this Nivea, Nivea, how do you say it in English? Ref uh, refining cl clear up strips for removing blackheads. And I love these. I love these. I think they're wonderful. They're one kind that I always go back to. I do recommend it. Now, I, the only thing I found very strange is you get four for nose and two for chin and forehead. So it doesn't make any sense because I always put everywhere where I can. So I would prefer if I get four and four and not four and two, but that's just me. Then the other product that I got in my glossy box, this is during Christmas, is this the Body Shop Vanilla Chai Hand Cream that I love. Really, really love this cream. This smells so nice. Oh, smells Christmas. 
Oh. It makes me want to go back in time. No, I'm not going back. I wait for summer. But I love this. It really reminds me of Christmas. I love this cream. Something I really, really enjoy. And definitely going to get uh, more of these, the Body Shop hand creams. Now, I always buy uh, Body Shop hand creams for my mom. She loves soaps and hand creams. And I know she loves Body Shop's hand creams. And I always buy many different uh, scents. Uh, but I never bought any for myself. That's strange. I, I love buying stuff for other people, for family members, for my friends, but I don't buy so many things for me except makeup, maybe. And, uh, and I always, when I buy something for myself, I always put something for someone else. That's me. I love to give. I really like this Body Shop hand cream. Definitely going to buy another one. Okay, the other product that I really liked but also didn't like. I had like love-hate relationship with this product. And I'm talking about Slay All Day Setting Spray. Okay. First of all, this is a very good setting spray. I think it does keep, on my, keep my makeup on place good. But this cucumber, and this is, was the cucumber, it kind of felt very real on my skin. It didn't feel, feel fresh. I got this one from my friend Valerie and uh, the Elf Active uh, Post Workout Cold Down Mist that I love. Oh, love it. It has a very strong spray, really hits you in the face, but I love it. It makes me feel awake, makes me feel good, happy. Uh, but this one kind of burn my eyes a little bit every time i sprayed it in my on my face my eyes start itching and it felt uncomfortable felt uncomfortable on my skin first two two minutes and then it went away so it worked fine but i i just used it to like finish the bottle because uh, i did like the product itself i just didn't like it for the first two three minutes that sounds weird but yeah, would I purchase it? Definitely. I'm kind of curious to try that one with the rose. I think it's collab with someone, a YouTuber. Can't really remember which YouTuber. But I heard they had a uh, with the rose. Mm -mm. Need to find that one. But definitely buy, but not cucumber. I didn't like it. Okay, then the other product that I got <laughs> in my glossy box surprise surprise is shower wash and this is M mitchell and peach michelle michi well can't pronounce it english leaf shower wash and i didn't like it i didn't like the scent of it i didn't like how it felt on my skin i didn't like it and i wouldn't purchase it i was glad that it was a small bottle because i would i wouldn't finish it so i didn't like it won't buy it, don't recommend it. Okay, then I did finish one more of my cushion foundation from Lava Art. Would I purchase it again? Yes, I would. It's empty, so I can throw it away. I love this a lot. Really, really love it. Now, the one thing that I found that if I don't set it pretty good with powder and using a very good setting spray, it will get a little bit oily during the day or I would get a little bit oily and it will run off, wear off now, run off, wear off on my chin because I touch my chin a lot. So, but I really love this foundation, really, really love it. And I already have five more because it did arrive to every second month. So I did end my subscription because I already have five of these so I don't need more but when I use all of them because and I am going to I will purchase more of course the next product that I finished is this IT ET can't pronounce it superhero mascara that I got from my friend Valerie I really like this mascara and did enjoy it a lot it made my eyelashes look long and full and beautiful I don't like it as much as I love my L'Oreal Paradise Mascara, uh, they give me almost the same uh, look, 
uh, but this one did transfer up to five six hours a lot on my lower lash line so I did use it only when I was at home because I do need my uh, mascara to work for me at least nine hours so but I would would I buy it of course maybe in the future I already have like six others mascara that I use and one that I didn't open that I'm going to do a review of uh, first impression or wear test but this one I do like and I do recommend it I used up this Rixona maximum protected anti-transparent uh, deodorant this is uh, the one that I showed you in many of my other videos it's one of my favorites it does keep me fresh and smell fresh for at least 12 if not even 15 hours and that's very important for me because I'm around people at least 10 11 hours every day and I do need a deodorant that would hold hold bad smell away I don't want to smell bad I hate when people smell bad so I do like this one I do like it would I repurchase it definitely but not right now because I do have another one that I'm trying out that I do enjoy a lot also so but this one is good definitely buy it in the future okay I have more products I think I'm going to hurry up a little bit so you don't fall asleep uh, please don't uh, then I use two of these hyaluronic fillers that I love and I'm talking I talked about these a lot in, on my channel these I love these I love they did make my fine lines less visible my uh, acne scars less visible love this product do recommend it definitely going to buy them I think I have one more and then I'm going to buy other package when I finish all of them then another mascara that I like it's this shock the shock this is why I sell mascara the shock this was a youtuber Rachel Love I think that uh, showed this in um, one of her videos this is one of her favorite mascaras it's an expensive mascara it's a very good mascara uh, I love how it looks it always also reminds me of this one L'Oreal's but the, this one did also transfer but this was a funny thing this transferred when it was fresh first month the second month when it was this mascara got a little bit oil and used then it would be better will I repurchase this one no and when I said now no I feel bad so I want to say yes but it's expensive one and I love to try other mascaras no let me say like this okay if I get it like as a present I would be very happy I wouldn't be disappointed but I don't think I'm going to put that much money again on this mascara just because I like trying other products okay the product that I really enjoyed I really enjoyed and I was kind of skeptical that I wouldn't this is Sephora balm I know it looks like a cute egg smells nice uh, there is a little bit of the product left it has nice pink sheen I really love this product I had it in my in my jacket in my pocket every, and I used it every day I love this one uh, I didn't thought that I would and I did get this as uh, when I was purchasing uh, two face products I bought a lot of stuff last year and I got this one and first I was like no nah, I don't like this packaging but then I put it on lips my lips one day and I love this rose nice uh, sweet look on my lips I loved it so I did use it now there is a little bit left but I'm not going to use it because I like applying this as a lipstick I don't like putting my fingers in and then go around on my lips because then I have product on my fingers and no that's no but I will let's didn't finish would I buy this definitely do I recommend it definitely so I am going to be curious to see what other shades or scent they have okay let's keep on now I finished my 
Eucarin. I, I can't pronounce this brand. I'm so bad at this. Elasticity Filler Facial Oil. Guys, this smells nothing. It smells something, but not good. It's not strong smell. This is the best oil I've tried. This oil, pretty camera, focus, Canon. This oil, filler oil, facial oil. We finished. My camera is not collaborating with me. My camera and I, we are not friends. Feels like that right now. Okay, this facial oil is very good. I love this facial oil. It made my skin glow. It made my skin feel so smooth and so soft. And of course, it filled in my wrinkles, wrinkles, fine lines, deep scars, and everything. I did use it together with this. Now, I loved using it during the day and evening when it was cold and winter. At the end of February, it kind of got a little bit warmer. So I, when I was using it during the morning, I found out that I got a lot of very oily on my T-zone. And I do get that when it's warm outside. So I stopped using it during the day and I continue using it every night. And I love this one. I swear by it. I love this. This is so good and I would definitely buy it again. Not maybe during the summer. The one thing that I really enjoyed with this facial oil is that it you didn't need to use a lot of the product and also it was like a dry oil it didn't felt oily on my skin and i have oily t-zone so it didn't felt oily on my skin it felt very nice and smoothing and i felt fresh and i really like it really really like it definitely something i'm going to buy again then i also emptied my urban decay troublemaker mascara this is a sample size that i got from my Valerie's sweet friend on YouTube. Um, I think I got this as a present after we did we, we did a couple of uh, videos together, I think three. And the second that we did, the second video, she received a package from me like a gift and I received a package from her and this product was in there. I like this mascara, I really like it. The thing I don't like is this wand, I, I, it, it hurts. If you get it in your eye, it hurts. But it's a good mascara. Okay, I have a couple of other products. The one product, uh, Cetaphil Facial Moisturizer for sensitive and dry skin that I used. I complained about this product before. I tried that Cetaphil cleansing gel, cleansing product. That it didn't work for me. It dried out my skin. It made me break out. I didn't like it at all. I got dry patches around my skin. And it was for sensitive skin. So that's very strong, strange. But just did not work for me. I did try this facial moisturizer. Don't like it. I don't know if I am impressed with this brand. Just something about the, their products. They don't work for me. Something breaks me out. Something makes me itchy and dry. And I know many people love this. Many people in Sweden too love this pr brand. And love their products. But for me they just didn't work for some reason. Okay, the other product that I had for months, this is Kevin Murphy Untangled Leave-In Conditioner. Conditioner. My hair got very bad last summer and um, it started breaking in half. It was very damaged for bleaching, after bleaching and coloring it. It got tangled, I couldn't fix it, couldn't brush my hair, so I did bought this. I love Kevin Murphy. I love this brand. This is the best brand ever. Love their products. I use their products a lot. So when I finished this product, and it was, I think, two days ago, and I put it in my bas basket here, I was thinking, do I, what would I say in this video? Would I buy it again? And then I thought, no, I mean, it worked. I think so. Can't really remember because I put so many products in my hair. So many products. I have oil, uh, heat, in, heat protection, leave-in conditioner, disc conditioner, volume products, yeah, a lot of products in my hair. So I thought, yeah, I don't think I need it. Did it do something? Can't remember, don't remember, because I always had it with other products. But guys, let me see. I washed my hair yesterday, got tangled. So to answer, 
I would buy this again <laughs> because I realized that I need it. I do need it. My hair need it, needs it. And uh, oh, hi. Hi, friend. There you are. Didn't see you back there. Uh, my hair just answered that question. It needs this product. I like it. And guys, this, uh, this is expensive, but I had this for at least six months. I think I had it. This is cruelty free also. Cruelty free. Very good. Product. But I think I'd had it at least for six months. And uh, yeah, I do recommend it. Four more products and I will talk past. The other product that I emptied is the same brand <laughs> as the facial oil and filler. This is the Hyaluron, Hyaluron Filler Eye Cream. Okay, the first eye cream I emptied, finished. I have a lot of eye cream that I don't finish. Uh, I kind of like them and then I get disappointed like this ritual refreshing eye lotion that I have. I like this one. It felt nice, it felt fresh, but I didn't see anything. And I bought this one. I love this. This made my... I had deeper fine lines down here. On the, down here. Yeah. Eyes. Around eyes. And this filled them in uh, a lot. So I do like it. The, it does fill in the deep pore, uh, deep pores. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. Don't judge me, people. Don't judge me. Okay. Let's start over. This filled, this filled in my deep wrinkles too around my eyes. I love this. The only thing I don't like about this, I get very puffy and large bags under my eyes in the morning and this don't, don't do anything to calm them or to fix them or to hide them or to make my under eyes look better. So for that reason, I don't like it. For feeling my wrinkles, I love it. Would I buy this again? Of course I would. Of course I would. But I will buy another product that can fix my bags maybe in the morning. So this I will maybe use it during the night and the other that fix my under bags in the morning. So I do like it, do recommend it and I would buy this one again. I really like this brand. I'm surprised. Especially filler, hyaluronic filler series. I have a lot of their products. Okay, then a website, 11.sc. It's that's a website where we in Sweden can buy beauty pro products, makeup. And so they gave me or sent this to me. This is Biotherm Life Plankton Sen Sensitive Balm to try out and review. Uh, not to review on my channel. They don't even know I have a channel, but to review on their website before it launches. And this Biotherm Life Plankton. I hate my camera because it doesn't want to focus like I wanted to. Biotherm Li Life Plankton Sensitive Balm. This is a balm and I got this small size. It smells nice. This is the best night cream for your skin ever. If you have dry skin, combo skin, oily skin, and you need your skin to feel smooth, fresh, nice, plumped, this, this is for you. It is, I think, a little bit expensive. I do not know. Can't answer that. But uh, yeah, I would definitely buy this one. I definitely would buy this one. Uh, especially during the fall and winter, I really recommend this cream. When I apply this in the evening, in the morning, this made my foundation go on so smooth on my skin. Will definitely buy full size. And not thinking twice. Okay, two more products. Okay, I bought this Urban Decay All Nighter. In this uh, travel size and this like after <laughs> five uses it's empty okay, not for five uses but you know guys I didn't got a lot of product in here I do like it I do like it I hate the smell it stinks I don't like the smell scent call it what you want I don't like it I do not like it I prefer all of other setting sprays that I have 
I prefer uh, Fix Plus. Uh, okay, I know why people like it. I do think it's a good product. I just can't take the smell. I can't stand the scent. I, I can't stand the scent. I'm sorry, guys, but would I buy it again? Yeah. But I would buy it again because it's a good product. I just don't like the scent. I don't like the scent. Okay, the last product here is this Instant Anti-Age The Razor Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer uh, from Maybelline. But this is YouTubers, many YouTubers' favorite. I think it's a good concealer. It's not the best, okay? To be honest, I don't think it's the best. 